This video will highlight the Tecla TED's snow loading calculation to the Euro code. Before running any calculation within the library, always read the associated notes which cover the scope, important assumptions and limitations and references. Examples for a mono pitch, duo pitch, multi span, cylindrical, and roof abutting a taller building are provided within the library. These can also be used as a starting point for your own designs. The input parameters cover site and building definitions, design options and output options. A live sketch displaying the snow loads are shown once the site and building definitions have been specified. Design options sets the national annex to which the snow loading will be calculated. The roof type needs to be specified. We will work through each roof type beginning with flat. Site details allows you to specify the building location, altitude and zone. The altitude and zone are both automatically determined but can be amended as you wish. The geometry button allows you to specify the shape of the building for the chosen roof type. A snow fence can be specified if required. You can consider obstructions, for the specified setting out details, a warning is displayed if you do not need to consider obstructions. You can consider a parapet to either the left, right or both sides. Additional information is available where you see an information symbol. You can also choose to include a canopy. A sketch is displayed along with a shape coefficient and loading for the specified roof type. Mono pitch and duo pitch roof types are entered very similarly allowing you to specify the shape of the building and whether to include obstructions, parapets and a canopy. For a multi-span roof type, the geometry allows four roof lengths and slopes to be specified to define the shape of the building. A snow fence can be included if required. A sketch is displayed along with a shape coefficient and loading. For a cylindrical roof type, the geometry allows the shape of the building to be specified. A snow fence can be included if required. As previously, a sketch is displayed along with the shape coefficient and loading. For roof abutting a taller building, the geometry of the two abutting buildings and the height difference between them are specified. The sketch of the geometry can be either an elevation or isometric view. Once you are satisfied with the input and preview results, you can specify the output options including the level of detail and whether to include a sketch. Confirm the information and your design and the calculation output is written to the document. The calculation title, ground snow details, building details, shape coefficients and a sketch, if requested, are all laid out in a clear and concise format.